So here it is. A close board palette with blocks. No space between the boards and way too wide to use a pallet buster anyways. So we're going to have to get creative. Flip the pallet upside down. That's where it's the weakest. It's designed to be sturdy when it's standing upright, but if you attack it from underneath, you actually expose all of the weak spots. For those blocks you have access to, get to work on them right away. Take a flat headed crowbar and a hammer and simply start with the corner of the block and hammer that crowbar in there. You're going to find that those blocks are going to come out very easily. Do them one by one and obviously be careful not to step on any nails. For those blocks that are covered by a plank, just start with the plank. Your pallet's upside down so you're actually working from the bottom. Once the plank is off, again, get to work on the blocks, starting from the corners, one by one. Once you get all those blocks off, take your time and go side by side, board by board. If you take your time, you're going to have very good salvage results, very few split boards, if any. Wedge your uh, crowbar in there, tap it a couple of times, and simply push down. It's about as easy as it can get for this kind of operation. And once you're done, you're going to get some beautiful pallet wood with actually a lot less trouble than pallets with stringers. And besides, who uses those weird 2x4s anyways?